The concept that the moon could be a reflection or projection rather than a solid celestial body has intrigued various researchers and conspiracy theorists over the years. This theory suggests that what we perceive as the moon might not be a physical object in space, but a projected or reflected image, potentially derived from a larger, hidden Earth. The hypothesis of a larger Earth with undiscovered regions beyond recognized boundaries plays a crucial role in this concept. If Earth is larger than traditionally believed, then its hidden regions could serve as a source for the Moon's reflection or projection. This idea is rooted in ancient mythology and esoteric teachings, where hidden lands or realms beyond our known world are frequently mentioned. For example, some interpretations of ancient Sumerian texts suggest a complex cosmology with layers or sections of Earth that are not accessible to ordinary people. The concept also aligns with the theory of the hollow Earth, which proposes that Earth has inner regions or a vastly expanded landscape within its core. In these contexts, the moon could be seen as a reflection from these inner regions or an outer projection created by unknown means. Certain scriptures and religious texts imply a different understanding of the moon's nature, hinting at its impermanence or fluidity. Some interpretations of the Bible, particularly in the book of Revelation, describe a time when celestial bodies will change or disappear, suggesting that their current form might be temporary or even illusory. Similarly, ancient Hindu texts discuss multiple layers of existence where the moon could be a reflection from a higher plane of reality. These theories often revolve around the concept of hidden knowledge and secretive societies that guard ancient truths. Organizations like the Freemasons or the Illuminati are often mentioned in these contexts, suggesting that they possess insights into the real structure of the Earth and the Moon, carefully keeping this information from the public. Hidden maps or ancient manuscripts are sometimes referenced as evidence of these secret truths, though obtaining such documents remains elusive. The suggestion that the Earth is larger than known and that the Moon might be a reflection from undiscovered realms has fueled speculation and intrigue. It raises questions about what else might be concealed beyond our current understanding of astronomy and geography. This idea beckons us to consider alternative explanations for celestial phenomena and to question the limits of human knowledge. Prepare to challenge everything you thought you knew about the moon and earth and discover why ancient secrets and hidden knowledge might change your entire perspective on reality. Certain religious scriptures and mythologies hint at the moon's unique characteristics, suggesting it may have a non-solid nature or reflect something else. In the Hebrew Bible, specifically the book of Genesis, the moon is referred to as the lesser light to govern the night, distinct from the greater light, the sun. While this might seem straightforward, some interpret the language as indicating that the moon's light is derived from or reflected by a greater source, suggesting an indirect origin. The Book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish text not included in the canonical Bible, offers an interesting perspective on the moon. In this text, Enoch is taken on a heavenly journey and is given insights into celestial mechanics. He describes the movement of the sun and moon in intricate detail. Critics of conventional cosmology suggest that Enoch's descriptions are symbolic or metaphorical, potentially hinting at a celestial reflection or projection. Some conspiracy theorists assert that these celestial bodies are not solid objects, but manifestations of a hidden reality. The Greek myth of Selene, the goddess of the moon, provides another angle. Selene is depicted driving her chariot across the night sky, illuminating the darkness with a radiant glow. This myth has been interpreted to imply that the moon's light could be artificial or projected, reinforcing the notion that it could be a reflection. The idea of the chariot's journey can be viewed as an allegory for the moon's orbital path, suggesting a cycle that's not necessarily bound by conventional physics. Ancient Mesopotamian texts describe the moon god Sin or Nana, a celestial deity closely linked to timekeeping and the seasons. 
Sin's crescent shape and waxing waning cycle could hint at the moon's reflective nature, with its changing appearance suggesting a fluctuating source. Hidden knowledge enthusiasts suggest that the Sin mythology may hold clues about the moon's mysterious properties, perhaps alluding to a larger structure or underlying force that dictates its behavior. In Hindu mythology, the moon is called Chandra or Soma, associated with a variety of traits and stories. The moon's connection with the Soma plant, a key component in ancient Vedic rituals, may imply a deeper symbolism. Some propose that these associations suggest that the moon represents more than just a celestial body. It may be a conduit or reflection of hidden energies or celestial mechanics, possibly related to a larger Earth or cosmic system. In Mesoamerican cultures, the Maya and Aztecs had sophisticated calendars and astronomical knowledge. Their depictions of the moon often intertwined with deities, cycles, and symbols that are open to interpretation. The frequent references to cycles and transformations could support the notion that the moon's changing phases are reflective of deeper, hidden processes, perhaps indicative of a reflective or projected celestial body. These scriptural and mythological references, along with their interpretations, offer glimpses into ancient perspectives on the moon, suggesting that its nature could be much more complex than conventional astronomy suggests. Whether these stories are metaphorical or carry hidden meanings, they have inspired theories that question the moon's solidity and explore its connection to broader cosmic themes. Scientific anomalies related to the moon's behavior have puzzled scientists and researchers for decades, hinting at a potentially unconventional nature. One of the most notable anomalies is the moon's libration, which refers to the oscillation or wobbling observed from Earth. This phenomenon allows us to see slightly more than half of the moon's surface over time, suggesting complex rotational dynamics. While traditional astronomy attributes libration to variations in the moon's orbit and rotation, some alternative theories posit that these irregularities might indicate a non-solid or holographic moon. Another significant anomaly is the moon's apparent lack of spin. Although mainstream science explains that the moon's synchronous rotation, where it shows only one face to Earth, is due to tidal locking, some suggest this could be a result of a more intricate cosmic mechanism, potentially pointing toward a reflection or projection model. In this context, the absence of observable spin could indicate a stationary or artificially controlled object. The moon's optical effects can also be puzzling. Some observers have reported seeing transparent sections of the moon or faint outlines of objects behind it, fueling speculation about its solidity. These observations suggest a plasma-like or holographic composition, contradicting the traditional view of the moon as a solid, rocky satellite. The hollow Earth theory, a long-standing concept proposing that Earth contains vast hollow regions, has intriguing parallels to these moon anomalies. This theory posits that hidden civilizations or large-scale operations occur within the Earth's core, potentially including advanced technology capable of projecting or reflecting celestial bodies. While the hollow Earth theory has been largely discredited in mainstream science, its underlying concept, that Earth and other celestial bodies might not be as straightforward as they seem, resonates with the idea that the moon could be a projection or plasma reflection. Additionally, some ancient texts and myths support the notion of a non-traditional moon. For example, certain Mesopotamian and Hindu scriptures describe celestial events or objects that appear and disappear in the sky, potentially alluding to projections or holographic entities. These stories can be interpreted as early evidence of cosmic anomalies, suggesting that ancient peoples were aware of unusual celestial phenomena. Scientific anomalies related to the moon's behavior, such as libration, optical effects, and the apparent lack of spin, raise questions about its conventional depiction as a solid satellite. The hollow earth theory and ancient scriptures offer alternative perspectives, 
providing a deeper context for understanding these anomalies and potentially pointing toward hidden knowledge about the true nature of the moon. Ancient civilizations like the Mayans were known for their intricate calendars and astronomical observations. The Dresden Codex, one of the surviving Mayan texts, contains precise records of lunar eclipses and cycles. The Mayans' detailed astronomical data suggests a deep understanding of the moon's phases and behavior. This level of precision raises questions about their sources of knowledge and whether it might hint at different interpretations of celestial phenomena, including the possibility that the moon's behavior reflected patterns beyond conventional scientific explanations. In ancient Mesopotamia, the Sumerians and Babylonians recorded astronomical events on clay tablets. These tablets contain detailed accounts of lunar movements and cycles, hinting at a sophisticated observational system. The Enuma Elish, a Babylonian creation myth, also discusses celestial bodies in a way that could be interpreted to suggest a non-traditional understanding of the moon. This mythology's symbolic language could imply that the moon's presence in the sky has deeper meanings or connections to a broader cosmic framework. Beyond these ancient sources, modern scientific theories, such as plasma cosmology, offer insights into how the moon could be a reflective or projected plasma formation. Plasma is a state of matter consisting of charged particles, which behave differently from solids, liquids, or gases. Scientists like Hannes Alf Venn, who won a Nobel Prize for his work in plasma physics, and Anthony Peratt, have proposed that plasma might play a significant role in shaping cosmic structures. Alf Venn's work in magnetohydrodynamics suggests that electromagnetic forces, not just gravity, could drive cosmic phenomena. Peratt's research delves deeper into how plasma filaments can form complex structures resembling galaxies and stars. His computer simulations have demonstrated that plasma can create configurations that mimic solid celestial bodies. These simulations imply that under specific electromagnetic conditions, plasma could produce visual phenomena that appear as solid objects in the sky, leading to the hypothesis that the moon might be a projected plasma entity. In addition to these theoretical insights, Laboratory experiments with plasma have shown that under controlled conditions, plasma can form spherical shapes and other geometries resembling celestial bodies. Researchers have observed plasma filaments organizing into intricate patterns, suggesting that in a larger cosmic context, these patterns could create visual illusions or reflections resembling the moon. These ancient and modern perspectives combined raise intriguing questions about the moon's true nature, the convergence of ancient astronomical records such as the Mayan and Babylonian texts with modern plasma theories offers a pathway to explore alternative interpretations of celestial phenomena. By examining these diverse sources of knowledge, we can challenge conventional paradigms and investigate the possibility that the moon's appearance and behavior might be part of a more complex cosmic framework. The traditional view of the moon sees it as a solid celestial body, orbiting Earth at a distance of approximately 384,400 kilometers. This perspective is widely accepted among scientists, based on decades of research and observations, as well as historical context derived from the giant impact hypothesis. This theory posits that the moon was formed from the debris left by a colossal impact between a Mars-sized body and Earth, which caused material to coalesce and eventually create the moon. This solid body, then, has a regular orbit around Earth, exhibiting phases, libration, and a gravitational pull that affects Earth's tides. In contrast, alternative theories suggest that the Moon could be a plasma reflection of a larger, unseen Earth. This notion draws from a variety of sources, including ancient texts, hidden knowledge, and unconventional interpretations of scientific data. Some ancient civilizations, like the Sumerians and the Mayans, held complex cosmologies that included celestial bodies playing roles in creation myths and cycles of life. 
For example, certain ancient texts describe celestial bodies as divine or ethereal in nature, hinting that they might not be solid entities. These interpretations open the door to speculation that our understanding of the moon's structure and origin might be incomplete. Proponents of the plasma theory point to hidden knowledge and secret teachings from ancient times, suggesting that certain societies and religious groups had access to information not widely disseminated. This could include knowledge about the broader structure of Earth and its celestial bodies. The idea of a larger hidden Earth, possibly with regions beyond the known boundaries, is often associated with these alternative views. Some theorists argue that ancient religious texts, like the Bible or the Hindu Vedas, contain cryptic references to a much bigger earth with hidden realms or dimensions, indicating a need to re-examine conventional geographical boundaries. Another aspect of the alternative theory is rooted in scientific anomalies and unexplained phenomena. Observations of the moon's behavior have, at times, contradicted expected physics. The moon's libration, for example, could suggest a less rigid structure than a solid celestial body would imply. In addition, there are theories based on plasma physics that indicate it might be possible for plasma to create reflective or holographic projections, which could align with ancient depictions of celestial bodies as glowing or luminous. Theories about the moon as a plasma reflection also lead to discussions of secretive groups or hidden agendas. Some believe that certain organizations, possibly governments or secret societies, are aware of this alternative view, but deliberately suppress the information to maintain control over mainstream narratives. This line of thought often connects with conspiracy theories, suggesting that significant events like the Cold War space race might have been used as cover-ups to conceal the true nature of the moon. The traditional view of the moon is grounded in widely accepted scientific theories and observational evidence. However, the alternative perspective explores the possibility that the moon could be a plasma reflection of a larger unseen Earth, drawing from ancient texts, hidden knowledge, and unconventional scientific interpretations. This divergence in views demonstrates the ongoing curiosity and debate surrounding celestial bodies and the fundamental nature of our universe. The Book of Enoch, a text from the Second Temple period, has fascinated scholars and seekers of hidden knowledge for centuries. It contains extensive descriptions of celestial beings, often referred to as luminaries, who are said to control the movements of the sun, moon, and stars. These luminaries aren't described as simple inanimate objects, but as living entities with intelligence and purpose. In one section, Enoch is shown the movements of these luminaries by the archangel Uriel, indicating that the moon and other celestial bodies might have complex roles beyond merely reflecting light or orbiting Earth. Enoch's journey through the heavens reveals a cosmology that is far removed from our contemporary understanding of the universe, suggesting a more mystical or even metaphysical nature to the moon and stars. In the ancient Vedic texts of India, particularly in the Rigveda and Atharva Veda, Celestial bodies are often described with attributes that go beyond mere physical mass. These texts, among the oldest known scriptures, contain hymns that reference the gods as embodying energies that shape the cosmos. The Rigveda speaks of Soma, a celestial deity associated with the moon, hinting at a spiritual or energetic component to the lunar body. This personification of celestial bodies indicates that the ancient Vedic traditions may have viewed the cosmos as an interconnected web of energies, with each body playing a specific role in maintaining cosmic order. The Atharva Veda contains hymns invoking celestial forces for various purposes, implying a deeper understanding of cosmic energy and its manipulation. These ancient texts offer a window into a worldview where the celestial bodies, including the moon, were not merely objects to be measured and analyzed, but were part of a complex system with spiritual and energetic implications. By examining the descriptions and narratives within these scriptures, one can start to see why some might consider the moon a reflection or projection of a larger hidden reality.
The Book of Enoch's luminaries and the Vedic energies suggest that ancient cultures possessed knowledge that could lead to alternative interpretations of the moon's nature. This opens the door to theories that challenge conventional scientific perspectives and hint at hidden truths within these ancient writings. The Apollo 11 moon landing of 1969 stands as one of the most iconic moments in human history, a culmination of technological prowess and scientific ambition. Nail Armstrong's famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, echoed around the globe, marking humanity's first steps onto the lunar surface. This historic event purportedly provided tangible evidence that the moon is indeed a solid physical entity. The lunar rocks collected during the mission became subjects of extensive analysis by scientists worldwide, revealing intricate details about the moon's geological composition and history. These lunar samples, meticulously studied and scrutinized, offered insights into the moon's past, suggesting a complex geological evolution. Analysis of these rocks indicated the presence of various minerals, including basalt and anorthosite, hinting at a tumultuous volcanic history and the formation of lunar crust. Additionally, the discovery of impact craters and regolith layers further solidified the notion of a solid, geologically active celestial body. The Apollo missions, particularly Apollo 11, represented a pinnacle of human achievement, showcasing our ability to venture beyond Earth's confines and explore distant worlds. The images and data transmitted back to Earth provided invaluable information about lunar geology and surface conditions. This empirical evidence, coupled with the first-hand experiences of astronauts, reinforced the conventional understanding of the Moon as a tangible, solid object orbiting Earth within the depths of space. The historical significance of the Apollo 11 moon landing cannot be overstated. It served as a testament to human ingenuity, determination, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. However, as with any monumental event, questions and alternative interpretations persist. Despite the wealth of data collected during the Apollo missions, some individuals and groups have proposed alternative theories challenging the conventional understanding of the moon's nature. These alternative perspectives draw upon ancient scriptures, esoteric knowledge, and scientific anomalies to suggest a different narrative regarding the moon's existence and purpose. The plasma theory posits that celestial bodies like the moon might be comprised of plasma or emit plasma, resulting in observable effects that differ from conventional astronomical expectations. This hypothesis has its roots in fringe scientific communities that often question mainstream explanations. Proponents of this theory suggest that plasma's behavior, influenced by magnetic fields and electrical currents, could create illusions that might make the moon appear solid while being something entirely different. One major aspect that proponents of the plasma theory discuss is the unique optical phenomena that occur with the moon, like the mysterious libration effect, where the moon appears to wobble or oscillate. Some suggest this is due to plasma activity rather than any inherent physical movement of the moon itself. They point to similar phenomena in laboratory experiments involving plasma and electromagnetic fields, suggesting that these could create projections or reflections that might explain such visual anomalies. However, seismic studies conducted on the Moon, particularly during the Apollo missions, present a conflicting perspective. Seismic data collected from the Moon's surface and interior reveal a dense, solid structure beneath the outer crust indicating that the Moon is primarily a rocky body with a largely solid composition. These seismic studies involve monitoring moonquakes, which are tremors or seismic events within the Moon, often triggered by tidal forces from Earth or meteorite impacts. The results from these studies suggest that the Moon has a distinct internal structure with a solid mantle and possibly a metallic core which does not align with the idea of the moon being plasma-based or a mere projection. 
Moreover, during the Apollo missions, lunar samples were collected, analyzed, and found to be consistent with rocky materials similar to those found on Earth, further supporting the concept of a solid moon. These findings challenge the plasma theory and highlight the discrepancy between these scientific studies and the claims of those who support a more unconventional understanding of the moon. Overall, while the plasma theory raises intriguing questions about the nature of celestial bodies, seismic studies and material analyses conducted during the Apollo missions provide substantial evidence supporting a solid moon. This contradiction underscores the need for more research and exploration to reconcile the disparities between mainstream science and alternative theories. Alternative knowledge often explores the concept of the hollow earth theory, suggesting that the earth might contain larger inner structures or regions that could theoretically reflect or influence other celestial bodies, such as the moon. This theory has historical roots dating back to the 17th century, when Edmund Halley proposed that Earth might consist of multiple concentric shells with a central sun. Although Halley's intention was to explain certain magnetic anomalies, his idea laid the groundwork for later theories suggesting hidden regions within Earth. Over the years, hollow Earth theories have evolved, with some modern proponents suggesting that these inner structures might house advanced civilizations or secret bases. They argue that the existence of these hidden regions could explain various unexplained phenomena, from mysterious disappearances to UFO sightings, and even potentially the reflective qualities of the moon if it's not a solid object, but a projection or image from within Earth. These theories often draw from speculative fiction and unverified accounts, like the supposed secret expedition to the North Pole by Admiral Richard E. Byrd in 1947, where he allegedly discovered a hidden inner world. However, Byrd's accounts lack verifiable evidence, and mainstream science rejects the concept of a hollow Earth. Conspiracy theories that focus on the moon's true nature often suggest that governments and space agencies notably NASA, are concealing crucial information. These theories claim that space missions, especially those involving the moon, might be staged or manipulated to hide its actual nature. While these theories lack concrete evidence, they often rely on alleged discrepancies in space exploration footage, inconsistencies in official narratives, and claims by whistleblowers. A popular example is the Apollo moon landing conspiracy, which suggests that the United States faked the moon landings during the Cold War to assert dominance over the Soviet Union. Although intriguing, conspiracy theories related to the moon's nature face significant criticism due to their reliance on speculation, misinterpretation of scientific data, and lack of peer-reviewed evidence. The vast majority of scientists and astronomers agree that the moon is a solid celestial body, with geological evidence supporting its formation through known astronomical processes. Nonetheless, these alternative narratives continue to capture public imagination, encouraging a deeper exploration of our understanding of Earth's inner structure and the Moon's potential mysteries. The year 1969 marks a pivotal moment in space exploration, with Apollo 11's landing on the Moon signifying humanity's first direct observation and physical exploration of our celestial neighbor. The astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin collected rock samples and photographed the lunar surface, offering tangible evidence that contradicted earlier theories suggesting the Moon might be an optical illusion, a projection, or a reflection. Their observations also challenged any notion that the Moon was a plasma-based or purely energetic body. However, despite these discoveries, some theorists suggest that this event may have been carefully orchestrated to align with a broader narrative about space exploration and our understanding of the Moon. Critics argue that the photographs and samples could be manipulated to reinforce a specific interpretation of lunar origins. This skepticism opens the door to alternative theories, wherein the Moon is viewed not as a solid object, but as a reflective or projected image. 
This line of thought explores the possibility that the Earth may be much larger than recognized, with hidden regions extending beyond the perceived boundaries. The early 1900s saw significant advancements in understanding Earth's magnetic field and its relationship to solar plasma emissions. This era produced ground-breaking discoveries about the Aurora Borealis, which provided tangible examples of plasma interacting with Earth's atmosphere, creating vivid displays of light. Proponents of the plasma-based moon theory draw parallels between these phenomena and the potential mechanisms behind a projected moon. They suggest that Earth's magnetic field could interact with solar plasma, resulting in the appearance of a celestial body resembling the moon. These ideas connect with esoteric knowledge and hidden truths found in ancient scriptures and mythologies. Some theorists believe that various religious texts contain veiled references to a different interpretation of the moon, with elements of transformation, projection, or reflection. Specific passages might hint at these concepts, though they require interpretative analysis to uncover their deeper meanings. This approach encourages a broader understanding of historical narratives and the notion that our current views on celestial bodies could be incomplete. Locations and dates play a crucial role in supporting these theories. Beyond the Apollo 11 mission, which took place on July 20, 1969, there are other key moments that suggest alternative explanations. For instance, the 1947 Roswell incident in New Mexico, USA, has been linked to hidden knowledge about extraterrestrial technology and phenomena, with some theories connecting this event to lunar studies. Although this connection is speculative, it illustrates the wide range of interpretations that seek to uncover hidden truths about celestial bodies and their origins. The key dates and events provide a framework for exploring unconventional theories about the Moon and its relationship to Earth. These theories rely on reinterpretations of historical events and scientific discoveries, challenging conventional narratives and suggesting that there might be more to our understanding of the Moon and the broader cosmos than meets the eye. In conclusion, while the prevailing scientific view maintains that the Moon is a solid celestial body, Alternative theories persist, drawing upon interpretations of ancient texts and hidden knowledge. However, these alternative views often lack substantial scientific evidence to support their claims. The debate between these contrasting perspectives underscores the importance of critical thinking and evidence-based conclusions. Scientific observation and exploration, such as the Apollo 11 mission, provide tangible evidence supporting the traditional understanding of the Moon as a solid object. Direct observation, sample collection, and analysis offer insights into the lunar surface's composition and structure, aligning with established scientific models. On the other hand, alternative theories rooted in ancient scriptures and esoteric knowledge challenge conventional interpretations. These perspectives suggest that there may be hidden truths encoded within religious texts and mythologies, hinting at a different understanding of celestial bodies like the Moon. However, without robust scientific evidence to substantiate these claims, they remain speculative and subject to interpretation. The debate between these contrasting views underscores the importance of critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning. While alternative theories can inspire curiosity and exploration, it is essential to approach them with skepticism and rigor. By maintaining a balance between open-mindedness and scientific skepticism, we can continue to deepen our understanding of the cosmos while discerning fact from speculation. Ultimately, the pursuit of truth requires a commitment to empirical evidence and critical inquiry, guiding us toward a more comprehensive understanding of the mysteries that surround us.